Look at the belief of Sayyiduna Imam Malik ibn Anas mentioned in Ash-Shifa bi ta'rifi hukuk al-Mustafa and in other books. They were all devotees of Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. Sayyiduna Imam Malik ibn Anas if somebody would come to him the student of Imam Abu Hanifa alayhi rahmah to ask a masala he would send his servant to the door and say what kind of a masala what kind of a ruling are you after? Does it concern a hadith? Is it in relation to a hadith? If they said it is in relation to a hadith, he would say, wait. He would go and do ghusl. Go and do ghusl. Look how much he would go out of his way. Do ghusl. Wear clean clothes. Apply ether, fragrance upon himself. Wear the imama sharif. Wear a shawl over the imama sharif. And then sit on a special takht, a special seat that he had constructed for the delivery of the hadith back of Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. And he would arrange that fragrance is ignited, Bakhur would be ignited whilst he is delivering the hadith of Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. Once, when the student of Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Hazrat Abdullah ibn Mubarak, he noticed something very strange. He was sat in the presence of Sayyiduna Imam Malik ibn Anas. And he noticed the color change of Imam Malik. He became suddenly pale after the delivery of the hadith. He said, Hazrat, I noticed that you became pale. Why did you become pale? He said, because I was being bitten by a scorpion repeatedly up to 16 times whilst I was delivering the hadith of Rasulullah He says, why didn't you stop? He said, out of the adab of the hadith of Rasulullah Look at the veneration. They showed to the hadith of Rasulullah. How much adab would they show to Rasulullah himself? And there is no clear separate instruction which says that do this for the hadith, do this ihtimam. But this reminds me of where did he get this aqidah from? And immediately what came into my head? The sacrifice of Abu Bakr Siddiq in the cave of Sor. That he has the Prophet in his lap. He is repeatedly being bitten by a snake, but he does not even twitch because he does not want to cause the slightest discomfort to Rasulullah And we see Imam Malik following his footsteps. When he's delivering the hadith, giving so much importance and significance to the statements of Rasulullah because they do not consider them to be separate, because they are that which Allah Baka said, وَمَا يَنْفِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيُ يُوْهَىٰ that he does not even speak on his own accord. When he speaks, it is divine inspiration. And when he was asked, why did you do that? He says, because Because I wanted to honor the statements of Rasulullah